Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Complex ambition. They gonna love me for my ambition. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Woo. this week's paid promoter snippet. Don't say no prayer for me. I can see evil in the holy water. Don't say no prayer for me. There's others in need, man. Don't even bother. Cause that would be a waste of breath, I know. If you like what you heard, be sure to click down below in the description. And also feel free to email us at complexabition401 at gmail. BAM! Shout out to everyone out there right now in the world. You guys could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're here. And we appreciate a complex <laughs> ambition. So, my name is YI. You know, that's up to you. You want to be here, you're here. <laughs> you have nothing to do with your life? No, stop, <laughs> stop. Come on. If it's your first time, uh, let's watch this 6 9 video, Zaza. 6 uh, 9 hasn't dropped some shit since his, think, uh, uh, his album flopped. Yeah. Uh, since uh, the worst recorded sales in album history from a rapper <laughs> Stop. that was at the height of the rap game? No, Whoa. Uh, or just the social media game. Yeah, yeah. Um, 6 9 is back. Whether that's good or bad, uh, it's up to your opinion. Yes. But in my opinion, it's horrible. Fuck no. that nigga. <laughs> Stop. But Stop. we're going to watch this, though. This guy is the biggest <laughs> troll in the world, maybe, yeah. possibly. He has to be. As we can see here, his whole body's tatted at this point. Yeah, uh, he got man, more tattoos. He has a new beard. This is He's incredible. He's skinnier. Um, I don't know. He's fighting with Meek Mill. Yeah. There's a lot going on. He it's, loves Pushaisty. I wish he changed his career. I thought, contextualize it. Contextualize I it. I thought he was going to be Daniel Hernandez, switching up everything. Man. Switching up the flow, being more uh, like serious on some yeah. different shit. On, on he's some, on some bullshit. Stop trying to get yourself murder shit. Yeah, he's on some bullshit again. Like nothing happened. Yeah. On some hypo hypocritical shit. Yeah. But this shit has mad views, so it's working to who? Who the fuck is watching this shit and liking this shit? Well, I'll tell you this much. What the fuck is happening? I'll tell you this much, man. Uh, even the devil has his worshippers. Yo, so, Lucifer, I'm not, I'm not saying he's that. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, yeah. you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Zaza, Zaza is the little girl as well as weed. But I'm not sure if this is going to do with either or. He just likes saying weird names like this. Yeah. Gooba, Gufa, Pupa, Kuka, Zaza. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> you know, Papa. Little baby, literally. Kulos <laughs> everywhere. A lot of ass, so that means a lot of baby wipes. <laughs> or maybe it doesn't, because he likes fucking him with poop in it. He likes him like DMX, a little bit zesty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A lot of fake shit. A everywhere. lot of fake boobies, let's go! Okay. He, paid for, he paid for them niggas to do the video, I swear Yo, to God at this point. Who are these people? <laughs> No one ever says that. They just watch the shit, they whatever. Who are these men in this video? You ain't gonna tell me that just anybody's chilling with him in his crib. When did he record this? There's a hundred people there. Did no one ever send out his location? How's he low key? What is Lori Harvey not low doing? Key? Look at that. That's Lori crazy. Harvey in the cut. Stop right there. Look at her lips, bro. Look at her lips. Yeah, she might die. This is some fucked up shit right she now. She might pop. She got bigger biceps than me. Oh! Yeah, right. When you hear that hot shit, we really pop shit. When we shot shit, you pop shit, we really drop shit. Damn! Yeah! Whoa! Who hey, was this skinny little mini? Hold up. What's going on? <laughs> Damn! No, 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 no. Jesus, Diablo. She Look looking up. like a... <laughs> she, she an ironing board. He put that shit inside. <laughs> He put that shit inside. At least he doesn't discriminate, I guess. You got the thick ones, and you got the little skinny minis, and you got Sweetie on the left with the tatted up. Oh. Oh, be regardless, he a baby Google got the dog. Got the dog. Brody hit him, make up with the Zaza. You dumb, you ain't spin the block. You a damn lie, suck a dick. You ain't that nigga has fucked up teeth. That nigga does crap. Lil Shorty got the body out here. Body out here. I mean, most of the game is fucking top. He in the Maserati. Hold on, we gotta stop right there. Look at this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. wanna talk about it though. Let's move yeah, forward. Yeah, we got girlfriends! That's a fact, you pussy nigga. That's a fact, you pussy nigga. And you was security. This is security. That's security. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That's Where crazy. Come? Are you done? They, you they got Meek Mill looking ridiculous out here, yo. Listen. He looked like Meek he was... Mill got himself looking ridiculous. <laughs> He should have never approached this nigga. Holy shit, he looked like a Dominican father. Holy <laughs> shit. 
This is like a big bill. But they my call, thing is, they call him lacking. But my thing is, you can tell he's such a troll. Though, who takes a moment like that yeah, and immediately and turns said, that shit into music? And like, yeah, it says that because at, well, at this moment he knew he fucked up. Usually that means something else happened after that. Nothing yeah, happened, Daniel. Nothing Relax. Happened. If anything, both you niggas recorded it, and you both, you got, know, got, got some steam. Stupid. Got some steam. You out stupid at each other, yeah. so you both were just equalized as stupid level zero. So no one won there. Um... But it's crazy how that situation did happen, like the odds of that happening. But I don't even know wh- what Meek Mill expected to. Ha- what did you? And think niggas, was a lot of happen? niggas are saying, "Oh, Meek Mick should have killed him if he's really a street no, nigga." Oh no! I think you niggas need to shut up because I don't think that would have been a good thing. Why would Meek go to jail <laughs> for a nigga who's openly a, a rat? Yeah, yeah. And some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Six Nine's the biggest troll. Six Nine. Thank God, no one shot. Like if a security guard started shooting, why like the it, fuck would a security guard shoot? Is that your job to do nothing? Like if Six Nine was like, shoot that nigga. No, and I'm like, oh, no, thing. These security start guards, shooting back. Oh. These, secu- these security guards are God acting bless. like they're his goons. Yeah, you're not his it. goon, bro. I don't. You have it. a license to protect a person. Calm down. Yeah, I don't your know job it. is to protect a nigga, not cause harm. This, Fucking dumbasses. This is. Oh. Fuck y'all niggas up. I said that shit over the fear. And we Whoa. still screaming out. Whoa. What an ass. What's up? What's up with that shit though? I don't, I don't like what he said. Fuck the ass right yeah, now, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They killed so, your cousin and your what is it? Your cousin and your brother? So Marloon said in the group chat when this uh, snippet was previewed, he said, "Oh, is he talking about little Dirk and King Von? That situation because he does have a vendetta against the niggas. He always comments." And shit, he did that recently. The most recent comment was like, nigga, your cousin got killed, blah, blah, You know? And it's really obviously poor taste. Like, you're stupid. Like, you're putting yourself in, like, crosshairs. Like, you might die, nigga. That's that's more than poor taste, man. Like, that's like you have no morals. Yeah. That- this nigga treats the rap game as if it's the WWE. Yeah. But it's it, not. It, it, it. Let's keep looking at ass. And we still screaming out, gang, gang, gang. Free the guys in the chain, gang, gang. Finna go insane, let it bang, bang, bang. Get out my way, I'm coming through. Bro, go get your fans up. He ain't the dirt, go pick your mans up. Your man is never coming back. Boy, you dumb enough. Dumb. And we still screaming out, gang, gang, gang. Look, free the guys in the chain, gang, gang. Sorry to all the dads. What does oh, that mean? Oh, to the girls, my nigga. The girls is fathers? Yeah. I guess, but he's a dad too, so... Because my thing is, like, he could talk Ooh. shit, do whatever, make this type of music, and I would, I would just would have been like, oh, whatever. But then I get more critical of it when he says hypocritical shit. You're talking about free the guys in the chain gang gang. Who are we freeing, my nigga? You put people in jail, you know. Like, I don't... It just... It doesn't... Like, is he living in his own world? It's almost like the nigga psychotic a bit. But like, he, what the he fuck should, is no, going on? I'm not gonna lie to you, he should be psychotic. Because he has a bunch of yes-men around him. Obviously, this, all these people are, fe- are, are are feeding off of him. He must have They're a lot of money. They're literally getting fed he because has so of 6 ix 9 You know what I'm saying? So much money. He's providing an ecosystem for all these scavengers and all these rats. We're talking about the bottom of the bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It's like he's on Skid Row just handing out. Thousands of dollars. And immediately those people his become his, his team. It's like crazy. Sorry to all the dads. Uh, uh, they killed your man. You ain't do nothing about it. Yeah. What, what do you want the nigga to do? You're being protected by a million bodyguards. You're being protected by the government. Who wants to fuck with you right now, bro? You, it doesn't make any sense to me. He knows he's untouchable at we, this point. We've never seen nothing like this. This is incredible and it infuriates me because I thought, nigga, nigga. I really thought he was going to change his I life. I thought he was going to change his life. I, we saw... When he did an interview with, oh my God, what's that nigga's name? Uh, Fuck. Tim Westwood TV. Tim, Tim Westwood. It was really a glimpse into who Daniel Hernandez really was and who he is internally. Yeah. But he stays with the 6 9 shit. The worldly pleasures and desires have yeah. made this man turn into a monster. It's like when the devil told Jesus, I can give you the world yeah. if you just say my name. Just say I'm king. That's what it is.